The Ag Week Soil Health Minute is sponsored by the North Dakota Corn Council and the North Dakota Soybean Council. Soil health is getting a lot of attention these days, and you may be wondering about using some of the ideas on your farm. NDSU Extension specialists and researchers, along with farmers and consultants, are working together to apply soil health building practices. Soil health specialist Abby Wick is here now in our Soil Health Minute. We're in a field by Gardner where we interceded in early July of last year. And so what I wanted to show you today is how that rye looks in the, in the standing corn stalks on this no-till field. The goal of interseeding the corn when we came in in early July was that we get a cover crop established and growing. And then once the corn came off, we could leave the stalk standing, turn off the chopping head, and then have that, that cover crop or the cereal rye that we put in it come through and start really growing in the fall and using some extra moisture. Cereal rye is one of the only cover crops that will overwinter in North Dakota. It can, it can take the cold winters. When I clear away probably about a square foot of soil between the corn stalks here, we have quite a few cereal rye plants that, that survived and they did very well. And so now once the temperatures warm up, they'll start taking off and growing really well this spring. And the goal on this field then is to plant soybean directly into that living cereal rye. And in doing that, we're gaining trafficability so we can get across the field easily, um, especially in a no-till situation. If it's, if it's a little bit wet, we now have something green to drive on. One of the great things about having cereal rye here in the spring is that it will compete with weeds. So it does that through a chemical that leaks out of its roots, and it's a, that's called an allelopathic effect. But then also just having the rye here filling that space and using those nutrients instead of a weed is really important for controlling early season weeds. Using cereal rye by interseeding in corn and then planting soybean into it the following years is, is gaining a lot of popularity in North Dakota and an easy way to get cover crops into your system. You can get updates on the NDSU Soil Health webpage and by following Abby on Twitter at NDSU Soil Health.